what is the best treatment for vitiligo? And, and another question I'm sure people have is, can you reverse it? Um, I would say it's very, it's very difficult really to reverse vitiligo. Um, because it's so unpredictable, we're not sure when it will stop, if it will stop. Um, and really what the impact of treatment is actually going to be. So when I see someone with vitiligo, um, I will explain what the, the problem is. Um, and the fact that it's, it, it's, it really is very difficult to know um, when it's going to decide to, to slow down. So our treatments are, we do have a few treatments that we can offer, um, but our treatments are, are really based on um, reversing the process in the areas affected. Now, I might not be able to fully reverse it in those areas, um, but it's, uh, th there are things that we, we certainly can try. And I'm sorry, you, you were asking what treatments... Well, yeah, can you actually turn that, those white areas of skin, can you regain your pigment in those areas? Or if, the, if it's white, is it white for good? So, um, yes, there are treatments that we can use, and uh, uh, more often than not, we would, um, I would recommend um, some topical preparations. Um, now, that does uh, involve, uh, in the first place, um, either a strong steroid ointment, um, and we would need to um, uh, discuss how you use it and uh, uh, how long you would use it uh, for. Um, and obviously, if there's an improvement with that, then we can, um, uh, we can either stop it if it's completely, if the, if the areas have completely come back, if this color has completely come back, uh, or we can um, have a way of starting and stopping the treatment in a safe uh, way uh, so that you don't lose the effect of the treatment. There are other treatments that can be used. They are, again are uh, ointments um, and they're steroid free, particularly for those sensitive areas, um, for, for example on the face, because um, it can uh, affect the face, uh, the eyelids, the neck uh, or the hands. Um, and there we can use um, uh, what we call calcineurin inhibitors and it's a group of um, of ointments, uh, with the most uh, common one being uh, uh, something that we all know of as uh, protopic, um, or otherwise known as tacrolimus, and that's uh, that can be very uh, helpful and quite uh, safe um, in the long term in those sensitive uh, areas. If you do have more widespread vitiligo, then it, it might be that um, some light therapy um, can be used, so phototherapy, um, and that's uh, used in selected uh, individuals, so we would need to decide that that's the right treatment uh, for you. Um, and in addition to that, um, at any point in, in treatment, we could uh, decide that uh, you might need um, some uh, cosmetic camouflage. So that actually counts as a form of treatment. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a, a very good service known as Changing Faces, um, run by uh, specialist nurses who can not only provide you with emotional support actually, which I think is quite important, um, but also uh, they can test out different um, colors of, um, of uh, foundation or thick um, uh, or camouflage really, um, that is as close a, uh, as possible a match to your skin tone. And you might choose to use that on a daily basis or if, if you uh, have an important meeting coming up, um, or some important event like a wedding um, and that can be very very uh, helpful indeed. If you notice that you have any of the symptoms or the conditions that we've just discussed we invite you to book a consultation with Miss Penelope Pratsu where she'll be able to assess your condition and give you a treatment plan.